Thanks for tuning in to Callie's in the Kitchen. I have got here the holographic geode mold from Molds and Shapes. I'm starting to use all my molds that I've collected over the years before buying new ones. <laughs> I've got to make use of some of these. Um, I am going to try a 3D Bloom again using <clears throat> today Casting Craft. And I'm going to put some interference oyster satin, oops, uh, uh, interference oyster satin in my white. And I am going to use Let's Resin Rose Red epoxy paste in a little bit of resin for the edge. I did something similar the other day and I realized my mistake on my pipe, well not mistake, but I had forgotten how I was supposed to pipe. No, not pipe, sorry, how to draw the petals. So I'm doing two things at once, so excuse me. I'm putting out my resin for my edge. <clears throat> okay, so I've got, I think, hope not too little, not too much. So I'm going to pour in the center here, uh, some clear. I'll put aside some for my white. And I'm gonna do a small one only, so I'm gonna do only 20 grams. So, <clears throat> Let me do that while that settles in. That took a while, I'm not sure why. Um, <clears throat> it looks like I still have a little bit of layer left, so I'm going to put in a little bit more. In fact, I will do all of it because I don't want to put a top coat. I'm trying this way of pouring an edge so that I don't have to do a top coat, hopefully. So let me put, pour this here and then I'm going to torch and then put in a little glitter mix. So I've heard um, other artists who have YouTube channels say this so I'm going to learn from them and say it. First of all, if you have subscribed to my channel, thank you very much. If you haven't, you please consider it. Um, also, there is a notification button that you can click if you subscribe, and that'll tell you when I have a new video that I've uploaded. And I usually do three uploads a week. So there's my spiel. Thank you for allowing me to do that. Okay, so now I'm going to put that in the center here. Hopefully this glitter mix will go, <clears throat> excuse me, um, with the color that I've chosen for my edge. Okay. Making sure I'm not going to scratch the surface of my geode mold. That would be horrible. And this is the holographic one, too, so. Okay, Doc. All right, it's gotten a little bit warm. I'm going to take off my sweatshirt. Oof, getting really hot in here. 
weather's been so odd, so odd. Okay, so here in my 32 grams, I'm going to place a couple drops first. The last time when I did, the one I did with the purple, there seemed to be a lot, it was very thick. So I'm gonna do a lighter coat. Ooh, I forgot, I hope I left enough room for this side. Oh my goodness, I wasn't thinking. Oh, sugar, this is not the right red as that. There's a little bit of pink in there, but okay, let me make it darker. trouble is my my glitters and <clears throat> crushed glass and all that is in the garage and so I usually pick what I'm going to use first so I don't want this to be too thick but it's not quite dark enough so I'm going to do one more as carefully as I can. Oh, that's really light. Oh, well. I'm making sure that my first go around, oh, I see some stuff over here. I've got to get out. Uh, I'm making sure that my first go around is as close to the edge as possible. So I don't, I'm not minding that it's, you know, touching the edge of my mold, the outside, because I can easily wipe that off. But let me, um, <clears throat> get this little stinker out okay. so I will use the rest of this now my goodness my don't look at my glitter mix I know it doesn't match that's uh that's why it's probably maybe safer to just use gold or silver you know but I had these these crushed glass that I got from Timu and I wanted to use so okay I'm not gonna obsess with that about that too much okay so I'm just gonna pour the rest of it Some parts don't look as even, but that's okay. But that's pretty cool, um, 32 ounce, I think, because like in the purple, I was really worried that I didn't have a lot, you know, coming through, but man, it did. Okay, here I go. So on the casting craft, I'm going to do four drops. Because remember, um, I was on this new kick where I doubled up my... It's not coming out. Oh, stinker. I'm going to have to get a little pin, so sorry. But that, that'll give time for that to come in, hopefully. Oh, yeah, my hole closed on my casting craft. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut, uh, cut another piece off. 
This one's really stubborn. Probably have to dig deeper. So let me just, oops, whoa. <laughs> Went a little bit much there. I squished too hard. Okay. All right, let me clean that off. Stir it up. Let's see the how white it is or not. Cool. <clears throat> this time I'm going to put in a little bit more powder than I did on my other one. About that much. Whoa, that's a lot that I'm used to. I need a taller stick. Sorry, stick. You're a little too short. Uh, let me get my black so you can see it. So I'm going to stir this away from my piece. <clears throat> oh, it's nice and really, really thick. Just really interesting. So. I'm hoping I didn't need more of that, but I think, I'm not sure, we'll see. <clears throat> okay, I'm mixing. I don't quite see the shine or the shimmer of the Interference Oyster Satin too much, but that's okay, I don't wanna... <clears throat> go overboard. Alrighty, and then put it in my piping bag. Tie it up. Maybe I'll torch. go together right yeah <laughs> I'm gonna say so okay I'm gonna cut about that much <gasps> well dropped it but caught it all right here I go Yes, I'm giving you the silent treatment. Only because I have to concentrate.
need to reposition my hand. I'm going to make this one a little thicker here. I'm not sure if thicker or wider is the right term, term, but I'm going to do one here. Let's squeeze some more. <clears throat> is what I did didn't do correctly last time so you I'm supposed to take it in from out And I'm not going to go crazy like I did the last time. So going in. And then on each of them, I'm going to go out. And this one, I'm going to go out from just here. Okay, and then the usual, although that's not going to matter, but just, just a finishing signature touch, right? Okay, I'm going to torch it. <clears throat> And I will see you for the unmolding. Catch you later. Okie doke. It's that time. So this was a little bit uh, lighter than that purple one. So interesting. Okay. Let's see. I should bring a black piece behind me here. I think I will. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. I just think it might be more of a dramatic reveal. Maybe not. We'll see. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, very cool. <laughs> oh, wow. I think it's better on the, um, maybe on the white. Yeah. So it's kind of pinkish. Oh, that's pretty. Uh, oh, I like that idea. Um, 
boy, I don't know if I needed a black background or a white background to show that. But that next time on that edge, I'm going to put more of that paste that I used. It needed to be darker. But that's kind of cool. And in the holographicness, of course, of the mold. Cool beans. New technique. And then it didn't, don't worry about the center. All right. I like it. I hope you do too. See you next time.